One year ago today, I took up office and appointed my cabinet to lead the Welsh Government during the Fifth Assembly. It's true to say the past 12 months have been an exceptional time in British and Welsh politics. Throughout this period, we have remained focused on delivering on the promises we made to the people of Wales. And we promised to support businesses and create jobs in Wales, and we have delivered. The brighter future faced by Tata Steel employees is testament to what can be achieved when governments listen and work together with businesses. Our pro-business approach is paying dividends, and the good news continues. Aston Martin is now in St. Athen. General Dynamics is expanding in Oakdale. 400 high-quality jobs have been safeguarded at GE Aviation. St. Asaph-based Chaotic continues to grow. A new financial startup in Wrexham is to be established, creating 90 new jobs. Well, just this month, we announced 300 jobs at Carpeo Estate Planning in Newport. Our investment in Cardiff Airport continues to reap rewards. Passenger numbers are up almost 20% in the last year. Exciting new routes, including a direct Qatar Airways service to Doha, is being established, opening up Wales' links with the rest of the world. Such announcements help boost Wales' global reputation as a great place to invest and do business, which helps explain why Wales is continuing to win record-breaking levels of investment. The latest figures show Wales attracted nearly 100 new projects, worth at least £660 million to the Welsh economy, and creating or safeguarding more than 6,000 jobs. We know Wales's future prosperity depends on the education and skills of the people of Wales. We value our students and the huge contribution they make to society. That's why we offer the most generous student finance support package of anywhere in the UK. If you want to go to university, our system helps you to do so. We've invested £36 million to reduce infant class sizes and raise standards and double support for 15,000 disadvantaged pupils. We are investing an extra £100 million to improve school standards right across Wales, alongside action to support teachers and attract the very best talent to the profession. We pledged to protect and improve our health service, and we did. Investment in the NHS is now at the highest level ever. That's allowed us to deliver an £80 million new treatment fund to help people with life-threatening conditions to get the access to the medicines and treatments that they need. We've invested an extra £55 million for social services. We've run successful new campaigns to encourage doctors and nurses to train, work and live in Wales. And we've seen our ambulance service go from strength to strength, meeting and beating the targets to respond to life-threatening calls every month since autumn 2015. We'll continue to work hard to deliver for you, to deliver on our promises and to fight for you and your communities in ensuring a sensible Brexit that works for Wales. We've set out in black and white what we want from the road ahead and I'm personally and completely committed to standing up for Wales and ensuring our voice is heard loud and clear in the negotiations. Together, we will build on the achievements of the past 12 months and continue to take Wales forward.